Welcome back everyone to End Zone, A World Apart. This is the Early Access, full complete walkthrough of the tutorial. Uh, I'm Drake Hawkins and I am your host this evening. Uh, we're, or this afternoon, whenever this is. Uh, we will be uh, continuing the process from last time. I like that the map, the pause screen just goes right to here. It's so cool because you actually see your base under there. So we were working on the quest to get metal tools produced. We got uh, somebody should be working on them uh, very shortly up here in our uh, workshop. We can actually again look at our people here. We got Charlotte. Charlotte is already hard at work or getting materials to be hard at work perhaps. Uh, are you making it Charlotte? You are about to start crafting it. Be -E -A beautiful. Look at her go. Look at her go. Hammering away in there. Give her girl. There's somebody just creeping out, standing there walking, watching her. It's a little... I know it's exciting, but a little creepy at the same time. Uh, we're on fast mode here. We'll uh, deal with all the homeless shelters and all the rest of the things when uh, when the tutorial tells us to do so. We've got one metal tool made. They make one at a time, unlike your recycler. So that's uh, that's something to keep note of. <clears throat> there we go. Tools, we are now prepared to work effectively. Should you ever run out of metal, keep in mind that you can also instruct your workshop to manufacture tools from scrap instead of metal. Though they won't be quite as effective, it's still better than being forced to work with bare hands. Indeed, Arthur, and welcome. Thank you for joining us again, Arthur. Down in the end zone, we have sufficient tutorial. time and resources to educate ourselves properly. But our children don't have this luxury. We ought to build a school and pass on what we've learned. As a result, they will be able to survive and work better and more effectively. Excellent. Smart kids. What a thought. Let's make that school. Again, we can click up here to jump two things. Uh, where are we going to make the school? I don't think it's going to have anything negative to it. I imagine the uh, positivities. Oh, that's too close. That's unfortunate. We'll have to fix that later when he tells us about it. Uh, school is not going to be a negative, so that's fine. Let's, uh, well, let's plop that right in there. It looks like it'll fit just right. Uh, yeah, there you go. Look at that. It'll fit beautifully. Nice division between the uh, industrial zone. you, you got to have your recycling uh, facilities right behind your schools. Ooh. School time, kids. <laughs> Let's assign a teacher here. Uh, right down here in our communities tab. I like that we've got logistics and expeditions, community resources, food and water. Perfect. Nice. Besides the fact that educated children work more effectively... We'll also teach them to be more careful with their protective clothing and tools. Ah, indeed. This, in turn, leads to them staying intact longer, and we can serve valuable <laughs> resources. It's always good to keep your kids intact. I, I try to do that all the time as a parent. <laughs> now that our population is starting to grow, we ought to again turn our attention to the topic of food production. Food time! We're already accumulating fish and tilling our fields. A gatherer's cabin will now enable us to gather mushrooms and berries from the forest nearby. Excellent. I like the idea of a gatherer. Back from the banished old days. Let's build a gatherer. Where are we going to build them? Right. To, oh my goodness. Look at all the, all the gatherables. Oh, a bunch over there too. Yeah. Okay. Where are we going to put them? Let's throw them uh, right off in the, in the edge here. I think we're going to like tuck them into the hills here. Let's do that. He can be, he can have his little gatherer's hut near the, uh, Near the mountains, I think that might be fine. He's a little far from uh, base camp, but it's probably going to cause us trouble. I don't think we can build the... I would build a temporary storage in here at some point, right? To help him drop off stuff so our logistics teams can do stuff later. Uh, gatherers cabin and two gatherers assigned. I guess we let him build that first. How close are you guys going to be? A little bit of scrap needed. No workers coming for that. Uh, yeah, so each of the food types, I like that they gives a nice solid overlay. This is uh, fruit trees and mushrooms. They were not taken out when we told them to deforest the area. Speaking of which, are we still telling them to deforest the area? It looks like we are. Uh, let's change the work field to like this. Clean these ones out for now. He's going to still work over here for his current... That, oh, there we go. We got gatherers. Let's pump in the... or get the building finished. Let's pump in the two gatherers. Where are they? There they are. All right, and produce 20 berries and 20 mushrooms. Well, that sounds fantastic. Let's let that happen. So yeah, our, again, they've got, I don't, do these guys have an area, field area? Oh yeah, they do. Excellent. We could actually bump them like over, oh my goodness, this is rich. Jeepers, so much resource there. Very good. Very good indeed, see, Arthur. 
The gatherer's cabin is an effective possibility <clears throat> to get food quickly. But watch out. Watch out. After a drought, it's going to take some time before the plants have regrown. As is the case with most buildings, here too, you can relocate the working area at Excellent. any time. We get some um, free mushrooms and berries. Arthur, you are very efficient. You grab all those things for us in between. Although we are sufficiently hoarding them for us. Moment, our survival depends on diligent planning. Craziness. If we can lay out a plan for an orchard, then we can start to plant fruit or nut trees that we can harvest after a few seasons. Lovely. We're really getting a, cu a culture rebuilt here. Uh, orchard. Okay, we had the food stuff over here. Maybe we'll continue that process. Let's put a nice... Uh, I like the idea of having like a big... Eh, we put it down by the water's edge? That sounds nice. Let's give him a little space for a road there and go left click once. And drag it out uh, to, I don't know, here? Let's go to here. Or over to here. 10 by 12. Or 14 by 10. Let's go do, let's do 14 by 10. That looks nice. <clears throat> Might have something else along the water there. I don't know. Busy, busy. Okay, we need another, what, worker? Farmer, I think, for that. Yeah, a second farmer for that. And seed for the orchard. Okay, we did that with the other one. What do we make? Pears. Not peaches? Oh, there's peaches. Pears indeed it will be. Okay, click on pears. Check click the choose. Has been laid out, <clears throat> and the trees are already beginning to grow. No, nope. now they're to crops for farming. Okay. Trees need some time until they are fully grown. But once they have grown, they can be harvested again and again hmm. until they have to be newly planted. Go away, pigs. It's not your it's not your field. Newly planted, okay. Cabin Keeps adding people to us. From the surrounding forests. However, there are any number of other plants there which we can use oh, as well. Yes, excellent. These plants can be gathered by an herbal hut. Herbs. The herbs gathered there can be consumed by settlers to replenish their health. Well, it looks like the resource is herb hut is down here. Okay, we gotta build an herb hut and an herbalist. I think we probably just give them kind of the same location right just just uh tag them in together like that might be suitable right there excellent and they're going to do a similar sort of uh, work area i suppose let's let them get that done a bit of word wood a bit of scraps that's why you want to have your scrap and wood production up early these guys are what out of work speaking of which uh yes indeed they are uh give them that space to work now and you are done with that little cleanup i uh, will leave the foresty area going there and i'm going to give them uh probably well, we could do like this and tell him to just replant. Go to cut down and reforest. He'll probably be less effective, I would imagine. But uh, he's probably going to get things done a little better. Or a little long-termer. <laughs> we don't have to interrupt as much, is what I'm getting at. <clears throat> the herb hut needs a little more scrap. Should be uh, delivered. There we go. There's the herbal hut. I'm going to go ahead and click here. To, I, I like this interface rather than going back down here and finding what you're doing and balancing. I use this one to kind of watch what's going on. Uh, 20 herbs produced. Now, there is another task here. I wanted to point out, because I don't think he points that out at any time in the game. There is gather plants, which does both fruit, uh, or sorry, berries, mushrooms, and herbs. Or you can do gather all. We can equally utilize the gathered herbs to convert them into medicine later on. It might happen that mm -hmm. an illness breaks out in our settlement from time it to might time happen. and spreads among our settlers. Never happened anywhere. That's why we always ought to have enough herbs on hand. You always got to have enough herb on hand. Uh, the Gather All Resources does all of it. It's scrap, like it says, scrap, fruit, berries, herbs, the whole nine yards. So you can just toss it in over there at the beginning and they'll get lots of stuff for you. They do take Radiation more time, though. Is the main reason why the health status of our settlement can decrease. Although our settlers already use protective clothing to shield themselves against environmental radiation, <laughs> yeah, it might occur that our sources of water become contaminated. We should start to filter our water to prevent this from happening. We will need a great deal of charcoal to accomplish this. The charcoal kiln will burn wood to produce charcoal. Alrighty, let's do that. Get ourselves a charcoal kiln. We're getting techie here, guys. We're getting teched up. Uh, you can go probably right uh, there, eh? That seems like a suitable place. Chomp into the wood a little bit, but it seems like a good location considering our storage is there. Our wood production is going to be bringing all the wood right back to there. I like that. Charcoal maker. I have no idea 
what the meta is. So next episode, when we go on ridiculously hard difficulty and get ourselves totally uh, wiped out by the first problems we, we face, uh, you can teach me. You can all teach me. We got storage limitations here, huh? All right, things are running out of room. You got to assign a person to the charcoal makers. Those are listed, of course, here as well in your uh, charcoal burner, in your resources. We need to put one person there and produce two charcoal. That's very demanding. It's a little little excessive, Arthur. I don't know about that. It takes it makes two per move, so yeah, I think you need four wood, yes. You need to get four wood and point one season to make the charcoal. Where are you going to get that wood? Oh, he must have ran off to go home for a minute, eh? Your first thing on the job was to go to go hang out at home? Come on, buddy. Get to work. Great. There we go. We can use the charcoal in conjunction with a filtration system to purify our water. Unfortunately, our cistern is not able to do this. Only the water tower has the necessary equipment for this capability. All right, get a bunch of charcoal and some plastic to make this work. It would be a disgrace work. if we had to demolish our trusted cistern just to erect a water tower in its place. What we ought to do instead is upgrade the cistern itself. All right. A water tower can store much more water and provides workplaces for a lot more water carriers than so our can, old system. We can have five water carriers here. I don't know if it provides more workplaces. Pretty solid there already. But anyways, it's 2,000 capacity. It shows no contamination right now, and the sources that we can collect from is there. We have an upgrade building button. Uh, wait. Oh, upgrade the sister into the water tower. Recycler number three, because we do need plastics. He did give us some, but we're going to go ahead and throw in another one of them fellers right there. Hey, right there, eh? Excellent. Do that plastic thing, eh? Uh, and a recycler. We need a second, a third one, rather. We'll go ahead and assign a third guy there. Now, only one per building, so there's no way of boosting these. Uh, the one's making uh, metal, one's making cloth, and this guy's going to make plastics. Excellent. Construct and upgrade the cistern water tower right down there. I think we already had the plastics for it now We can do this job. We can assign this job before we have the plastics They'll get everything else delivered and just stand there staring at you waiting, which is fine Lots of materials arriving good. How's our builder count? We're still with three builders. I think we'll go to like four Why not? I don't know if any buildings there. Oh, that is a big beautiful water tower. Look at that That is that is a modern piece of engineering genius little steampunk and I love it all right what else assign settlers to production of water carriers five of them we need okay well, right now we have plenty of water but I guess we'll assign more one two three four more Our yes water tower is oh, we can have ten there now. Action. yeah work. we can assign ten not five filtering the Excellent. water is an important next step because clean drinking water is a key mainstay of any stable society wonderful let's begin with filtering our water to save on charcoal, we ought to ensure that at least a little bit of water, not contaminated by radiation, is being stored in our water tower. Water gained from a well is never contaminated by radiation. It's surface so radiation it after all at this point. That purpose. Then we can use the remaining charcoal to produce better protective clothing. Wait till we get uh, lots of industrial stuff going, then the groundwater will be contaminated. No worries there. Uh, a well can be produced here, or we can actually click on the tower, which I find interesting, and click build for the other type of thing we can do with it. So let's do that. And can we squeeze this fellow right in beside here? No, apparently we can't. That was uh, wishful thinking, I guess. Also can't squeeze in there. All right, I guess it's going to go here then. Lovely. We'll do that. Yeah, that's great. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Now these have an area of effect. That's how close they can be to another water tower. Or well, well I mean. I'm not sure if it uh, if he tells us that in the in the tutorial, but if I put another well up here, for instance, they would not overlap. If I put it one tile closer, they would. So basically, they just can't touch each other's uh, buildings with their circles. No overlapping the streams, and then we get 100% efficiency, and it drops by 20 each time you do more. Let's put a well worker there. Uh, activate the filter and the water tower. Filtration activated. Excellent. And uh, instruct the tailor to produce activated carbon masks. Right, he did give us a couple options, a couple jobs there. Instead of these, which we now have, if we mouse up right here. Oh my goodness, we've got 66 of them. Okay, we probably have enough for now, friends. Considering our population is 43, counting the three children, that's it. Oof, we got housing problems for sure. Uh, well keeper, we got uh, two activated masks need to be produced. You are questioning me because why? 
Needs scrap. Oh, yes, because a better scrap provider is out, no? Oh, you know what? We're probably low on storage. Yeah, that's what's happening. We're low on storage for our scrap. That's most unfortunate. Okay, we also only have one worker there, so let's go upgrade that a little bit. We've got the extra bodies. Right, we got 13 people not working right now, so I'm going to head actually two of those up. Uh, what's that mean? What's this indicator? Production limits of the resource reached. Oh, yes. Okay, so we our limit on uh, this production is food is supposed to haul in 5,000. Uh, we don't have much storage after that, I don't think. Uh, does this have a limit? Inventory. Yeah, we're 88% full on our storage. So. taking steps towards being better and better equipped to be able to survive in this hostile environment. Feeling safe, Arthur. Water is a oh, and it's such raining. And later on, and we it's can acid use it to irrigate our fields. <laughs> but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Acid rain. Chocolate rain. All right, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Not only our water can become a hazard for our settlers due to radiation, our food can too. Oh no! We ought to erect a decontamination post to prevent settlers from eating meals that are contaminated with radiation. Yes, sir. We will do so. A decontamination post. I don't know if it's got any negative negativity proximity things. Doesn't seem to. Uh, food contam decontamination, huh? I mean, I don't see why we wouldn't want it to be like here or here. It would put, uh, yeah, no, yeah, we'll do it here. Um, sure. I mean, fishing, farms. Actually, you know what? Put it up here because that's right next to the actual storage location. So that seems sensible to me. I don't know. No idea if that's intelligent at all. We'll put a decontaminator assigned there and we'll let them build this. Let's get out of this mode. I wish I knew what the hotkeys for those modes were, but I don't. Shift one. No, that's the speed. Uh, alt one. Control one. Nope. Control two. Nope. These don't seem to have hotkeys, but all right. Well, it's raining. Look at that moisture. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful contaminated moisture. Is that actually contaminating the fields? Uh, doesn't show terrestrial, uh, terrestrial radiation at all. Our water does not show contaminated at all. Lovely. There he goes. Got that decontamination sprayer for your shopping carts right there, guys. Yeah, baby. Very good. The decontamination post is going to supply all buildings that stockpile food and are located in its working area ah, in excellent. order to purify the food that has been affected by radiation. Okay, any storage area in the work area. So say we built a uh, temporary storage spot up here. We it's could change true. this. Cover we it should all. never forget that even when we optimally prepare and protect ourselves, we're still going to lose friends and members of our family time and again. We're Sad going to days. mourn them, come what may. But if we're able to bury them in a cemetery, then we'll get over the pain and let them rest in peace. Eventually, guys, eventually. Cemetery! That is one big, big structure. Holy crap. We don't have room for a cemetery. You're not going to stick it right in the middle of town. That's our woodworking supplies. Oh my goodness, the, the terrain. All right, let's give them a nice, beautiful uh, home along the water. Yeah, that's it. Um, I don't know. Reapers. Um, let's see about housing. Can we? Do we have to build more housing at this point? We could actually build more housing. Are they going to let me? They are. <clears throat> okay. Let's do that. Oops. Did that just move it? It did indeed. Uh, cancel. I think I bumped it. There and there. Let's do that. Is that enough space? Maybe? Let's build ourselves a community cemetery. Over here? Sure. Let's put it in there. It's kind of past the... Uh, like these guys are doing stuff out here. Mostly. So we can move your work area over to about here. Move your work areas in there. Good. Let's throw this guy central anyways too. Love it. Okay. And the cemetery... Comes pre-built with graves. That's a little disturbing. We haven't lost that many. Maybe it's memorials to the, uh, to the forgotten, to the pre, uh, pre, pre, whatever, pre end zone, the old world morticians. We need one of those. All right, keep going, guys. Do it fast. That is a fairly substantial structure. A little bit of scrap, a little bit of wood. <clears throat> 
Not sure I want my tomb to be made of scrap, but I guess it is what it is, eh? Look at those beautiful benches. Love it. Come on, get the deer out of the way and get this built. Uh, actually, click there. This is the first time we're going to use that build next button, because they were building these houses. Oh, we are short on scrap. Really? Okay. We're legit short on scrap. Let's bump this up to five people, and uh, maybe we give them a closer source for scrap. So pop it over to here. Sure. Let's do that. We could build another scrap collector, I suppose. Ooh, what's this? Looks like a greenhouse. Or, a, no, workshop. It's not a greenhouse at all, Drake. Open your eyes. It's a workshop. Some sort of a storage yard. How that survived, I don't know. <laughs> I think those buildings would be like the first to get blown over. You start wrecking that and you got serious problems. Anyways, uh, let's keep, we're still going here. We got uh, unhappy settlers and we've got uh, homeless settlers, which is a little awkward. They did finish building those, unfortunately, because they already had the job, I guess. All the supplies were already built. So they won't stop building something that's not listed as first if they can't actively provide a product for this one. So they couldn't give the scrap there because we didn't have any. Um, and so they had to wait until scrap was available. They had already put all the scrap and building and materials into these two, so they will stick to that. Or they'll get that done in the meantime. There we go. Babbled my way through that, and okay. there's the graveyard. The cemetery will help us to quickly get a hold on ourselves and focus on the tasks that lie ahead. I don't... It's not a pleasant thought. I think you know something. that's the way things are. At the very least, we're pioneers, aren't we? Maybe we ought to distract ourselves to lighten up the mood. Indeed. We can erect a number of buildings like the sound of that, Arthur. to increase confidence in our settlement. Confidence. Including, for example, a campfire or a pub. In this situation, however, our best option would probably be to upgrade our town center. Ah. Settlers can visit the new town center, and by doing so, increase their confidence for a while. Lovely. So the town center itself is this bus. And uh, we get an upgrade button here. I would suggest in your own games doing it as soon as possible because this turns this into a functional campfire, like he said, letting them actually actively boost their their uh, contentment. So go ahead and click that. We got scrap and wood, apparently. Oh, right, because it's already... The new town it was already there because that's gives where it's stored. Storage space. At the same time, it functions just like yeah, a campfire. fair chunk too. more. Settlers can visit the new town center, and by doing so, increase their confidence for a while. Now that we have made efforts to ensure the spiritual well-being of our settlers, we ought to attend to their physical health as well. Nice. So we got uh, Samuel, Anna, and Louis Louisa, uh, three of the four, who are here uh, making themselves feel a little better chatting our around the campfire. Settlers can get sick from time to time. Uh oh. Settlers who have become infected with a disease can die from it if they're not treated. Apparently they just Settlers kill off will our go farmer. to a medical facility to have themselves treated and will oh. be admitted there, provided that beds are still available. We ought to ensure our settlers' medical health care. I just realized we don't have enough people to keep doing everything he's told us to. We dropped our uh, water collect carriers down, and we've dropped... Uh, we got two fishermen? We'll dro drop one. And we've got uh, now four settlers. We reduced the scrap collectors by a couple. And our farm was run out. I don't know if that's the triggered by the event, uh, but we got to build one. We got to build a medicinal facility, medical facility. Yes, right here. Um, we could build it over here. There's herb right here. I think that might be a a clue where we can build it. Um, it's not an ideal location, is it? Let's build it right here. Um, if I build that up this way or or over here, maybe. Nope, that's not going to work. I feel like maybe right there, but the other way? Oh, that's going to run into the road, too. All right. Well, symmetry is not the end of the world or the end all of the all, so let's do this. I know I said that out loud, and I apologize. <clears throat> symmetry is everything in these games. Um, Yeah, we're just going to build it here. Why not? Oh, like that. Yeah, that works. Doesn't really work. Doesn't change the system. Anyways, uh, we need a ton of scrap, a bit of metals, a bit of plastics, some construction time, and some wood. Uh, we don't have electronics, but we do have plastic here. We got metal. We got pla uh, cloth. Uh, do note that these numbers are very skewed, except for the scrap. That's natural. That's always what I have. Uh, another scrap collector would be nice, but we're not using every bit of this one. 
Uh, building another one is redundant entirely until you've got, um, as far as I'm concerned, until you got the max workload. So if I had five people here and I need more scrap, then I build another scrapyard. Having multiples isn't going to do much. I need another forester. That guy must have died off as well. People are dying off from old age, I guess. I don't know. Let them speed along on getting this connected. And let's see, uh, we could probably put in a little extra housing. I think he might give us the ability to build a shelter soon. That would be nice. We can assign a medic and uh, produce five medicines. So the medical facility is both where they get healed and that produces the medicine for them to get healed. So it's kind of your lab and uh, and your production as well. Or your lab and your hospital as well. There we go. Get that worked. Get the medic working. He's assigned. Lovely. Did that through this one. We've got uh, for production. What does it take? Medicine. Let's mouse over that. Ten outputs. Ten medicine takes one herb. Oh my goodness! Really? We want to be using the meds, or maybe it's just fast pill popping. I'm not sure how that's going to plan pan out on that one. But he's going to produce the five medicine hopefully soon. There's ten. Step, okay. We have yeah. The super quick production. The for a while. Very super quick. good work. You're welcome, Arthur. More Thanks. Are, being born these days. are they? We should start to plan for the long term. Are they? We're down to 28 population and four children. Yeah, that's not actually what's happening in the tutorial, but that's fine. Well, it's worked. Well, are a good way to get settlers to start right. a family. They only provide limited space. This can quickly lead to people having to live on the street. That's Allow no good. Allow me to suggest to you that cabins be provided only in a very targeted manner in order okay. to control the population growth of your settlement. Nothing is worse than not having enough resources to provide for everyone. Agree. You ought to build a shelter to be able to provide other inhabitants with a roof over their heads, too. All right, excellent. Okay. So in here, we got a shelter. We can build one of those. Thought he'd be opening that up for us. I think we'll put it in there. That's probably a reasonable location. Or over here. That's going to cut into the foodstuffs. If I build it there, are we going to get two cabins in here? And then some. We could actually do a couple cabins along here. And then have some sort of spacing in between, maybe, to put some decorative stuff or something. So, yeah. Let's get that shelter built. Uh, getting people off the, off the street would be uh, wonderful. Ten new population shows up when we complete this one. Yeah, guys, get, get to work. Um, there is also a couple things I want to mention. The game has a lot of, uh, a lot of, um, it's, it's got a lot of a lot of roughness to it. It's, it's really harsh. Like this, on the difficulties that we can play on, we can adjust this. This game was going to be very punishing. Uh, but you can also play it on a very, very passive mode. So, if you're familiar with, uh, a very rel relatively easy play and you want some easy stuff, you can do that. Uh, if you're looking at the gameplay here and you're like, this is so lame, it doesn't, it's not hard at all. Drake, you normally play the really difficult stuff. Understand that this is a tutorial one. So, um, speaking of making things work for people, uh, we have uh, we have a few more minutes here. We're just going to wrap it up here as this continues, as this finishes up. What do we got? A little bit more scraps to be built in there. Uh, but I wanted to take a chance to thank you all for watching their second episode. We're going to continue this process right through to the end of the walkthrough. It's going to probably be a number of hours worth of play. And we're doing about half an hour a piece here. So I'd like to stop for a second at the end of each of our series' second episode and uh, comment uh, on a couple things. I wanted to thank all of our patrons and everybody that's supporting the channel financially through uh, patrons and memberships and and um, through the uh, from our Twitch side of things, our, our Twitch that we stream a number of days a week. You can check that out at Clan Hawkins over on uh, Twitch.tv slash Clan Hawkins. Very good. Thank you. Very good indeed. Remember thank that you. When children grow up, they're going to leave their parents' house and look around for a new place to live. That's right. We kick it them right out at, at they don't 16. Find any home at all. We ought to build a shelter to be able to provide all inhabitants with a roof over their heads. We will do so, sir. We will do so, Arthur. Thank you so much for that. Now, uh, I just wanted to say thank you to those who have been supporting the channel. And uh, this one was brought to my attention by Quirky, one of our uh, great long-term supporters. So thank you so much. 
uh, loving the game. Hope you guys are as well. If you do want to support the channel, there's options in the description down below, uh, the Patreon and other other things for you is there, there as well. And uh, I would love to see you over on some of our live streams and down in the comment section. If you have tips, again, for everybody that is going to be watching this, this is pre-built, pre-run ahead, all recorded ahead of time, and it's available, uh, going to be available, you know, months after the game is uh, uh, fully finished and developed. So, uh, throw your comments down there, help going down there. If you know about the game, please do take a second to some, do something we don't normally say. Get down in the comments and read them so that you could help anybody else with helps and tips that I may not be able to give them because I have not played on the high difficulties. So thank you once again, and uh, please do hit the like button to keep this thing rolling, and we'll see you in game.